Hey everyone, in this tutorial I will walk you through how to create an easy liquid transition animation in Procreate Dreams. If you've ever watched any of my Skillshare classes, you'll know I love using hand-drawn liquid animations to transition between important content. It really has become a way to incorporate an aspect of my animation style into my video content. I hope it's something that will inspire you. To get started, I will be using 12 frames per second and starting with 15 seconds. I'm also using 4K widescreen size. Depending on your iPad, you might need to go with a smaller size like HD to avoid crashing. Lastly, I'll tap draw to open the new file. And then I'll just drag on the stage to open up the flipbook mode. Now in flipbook mode, I will choose my color and brush. I'm going with a built-in brush called Studio Pen. I like using this brush as it has some nice variety and weight and natural liquidness. Now that you've seen my setup, let's get into drawing our liquid filling up the frame. In the first frame, I will draw out my drip outline and then use color drop to fill in. Then I will tap on the next frame and this time I will start drawing my drips more defined and extending a little further down and color drop to fill in the black. And then I'll tap the next frame. I will continue drawing my drips going down the frame and start developing secondary drips and will fill in the shapes. For the next frame, I will draw my drips a little further down, except for the right one, which I will show that a drop has split from the rest. This will make the animation more dynamic and realistic. In the next frame, I will stretch out the drop to give the animation some gravity. And then I will draw the rest of the dripping and fill in the shapes. In the next frame, I will split apart droplets from the other two long drips and then redraw the rest. In the next frame, I'm going to redraw the drip line further down to show it's picking up speed. And I will draw just the tips of the droplets to show that they have fallen through the frame. In the next frame, I will redraw my drip line further down so only a little white is showing. And then in the next frame, I will just fill in the entire frame with black. And now I will tap X on the flipbook to return to the timeline and then we'll tap on the drawing icon to turn off drawing mode so I can click on the last frame and drag the right edge to extend the frame several frames. This way the animation will hold on the full filled screen before it moves to the second part of the animation. Now that we have the first part of the animation complete, I'm going to show you how to animate the liquid reveal. First, I'm going to tap the drawing icon to return to drawing mode and set the playhead to the next blank frame and return the flipbook mode. So in this first blank frame, I will draw three drips but this time I'm going to color drop below the outlines so the frame is filled with black. Then I'll tap on the next frame and I'm going to tap on the timestamp to pull up onion skin settings so I can reduce the previous frames to make it easier to track my drips. And now I will redraw my drips a little further down and fill the frame with color. And I'll repeat the step in the next frame while beginning to show some more drips. And in the next frame, I will redraw the line further down so now all my drips are connected. And I will keep repeating this process in the following frames just like the first part of the animation to show the drips falling down the frame. And at this point I will just draw the drips outside of the big three to show that the big drips have fallen past the bottom of the frame and I will continue creating new frames and show the rest of the drips slowly falling down. And then I'll get to this frame where I just draw a little detail as the black has almost all fallen off the frame. And now I'm done as the empty frames will speak to the background being fully revealed once again. And there we have our final animation. One note, due to color drop currently not being able to fill in completely, you may need to do some cleanup to fill in little spaces between the outline and fill color. Using your liquid transition. 
This transition animation can be used many ways. You could add a video or animation to a track below this animation, or you could export it to bring it into an editing program. Unfortunately, to export it, you will need to use a workaround by turning the background transparent and export as ping images. And then you could import the ping images as a ping sequence in an editing program or import into Procreate and export as a transparent GIF or video from there. To recap, we just walked through the steps for creating a liquid transition and several ways you can use this animation in your projects. Thanks for watching and please let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial and if there's any other animation tricks you would like to learn. See you later!